What's going on there guys? Good morning, good afternoon. Uh, the Earth Master here with an update video on this uh, Tuesday, December 7th, 2021 day. It is about 11, 12 a.m. California time. Latest quake on the globe, a 4.6 earthquake striking uh, in the Middle America Trench region. We have seen a pretty large uptick in earthquake activity around the globe overnight. Let's go ahead and check out what's going on on the latest information map here from the usgs you can see a, a lot of activity really kicking up in south america uh, there's the middle america trench region that we're just talking about also up here around the venezuela area and up here along the west coast we're seeing a swarm of activity uh, just off the blanco fracture zone west of the cascadia subduction zone a swarm of uh, some lower four magnitude earthquakes the default depth there of about 10 kilometers uh, for those earthquakes it's been a while since we've seen some movement in this specific area uh, last month or the month before that we had some uh, typical or similar swarming in this region with some fours and i think some lower fives kicking up but uh, looks like a little swarming activity returning to this region also down south here uh, along the southern end of the Cascadia, the Mendocino Triple Point Junction here with the Juan de Fuca Plate subducting uh, the North American Plate and the Pacific Plate over here to the southwest. Looking at uh, some little microquake activity kicking up here with 2.7 near Petrolia and also a 2.5 earthquake striking just a short time ago uh, in the Petrolia area. So kind of watching this area pretty closely. Also up here to the north, seeing some movement into the Cascadia subduction zone, the down dip uh, region, the, the locked area, if you will, just actually this is below the locked area, 33.5 kilometers uh, below the surface of this 2.4 earthquake just off the coast of Washington, it looks like. Uh, I got a story over here. There's definitely uh, uh, some heightened earthquake activity along the west coast and more specifically up here in the Pacific Northwest with the Cascadia subduction zone uh, kind of playing a part, being squeezed, if you will, with all this activity. A line of activity up through Montana and Idaho as well kicking up. Look at the activity down here in the south part of the state. We're seeing a renewed uptick in earthquake activity in the Nevada region around Tonopah, also down along Ridgecrest, and we're seeing a swarm around the Garlock Fault structure as well. All this activity just kicking up overnight, folks. So, seen some major uh, activity ramp up just before bed. I was heading to bed. Uh, I don't remember what time it was, 11 or 12 uh, last night. Uh, seen some twos kicking off here in a fashion like this. It's kind of stretching through the uh, this area of California up north, and then over to the Cascadia, uh, and then of course we're <clears throat> we're seeing more activity ramp up in the microquake department still just a little tickle in my throat uh, from being sick I'm hoping that goes away here pretty soon I'm trying to do my best to um, taper this cold that I got here's the uh, swarming activity around the uh, Mojave area in Southern California Garlock fault structure shear fault system here I think they, they I think they downplay this system uh, or this fault system a lot more uh, than it should be this, this area should be looked at pretty pretty closely when it comes to possibly producing a larger earthquake here you think of the dynamics in this region with the plate boundaries um, the movement of the North American and Pacific plate here Pacific plate heading north this area kind of heading to the southwest but at the same time uh, heading uh, southeast here a little bit but overall the general movement I'm not going to pull up the plate map here but general movement yes uh, southwest for the North American plate and northwest uh, for the uh, Pacific Plate in this area. Uh, but what is all that doing to this region right here? It's a different type of fault system here. And there's been a lot of built up here along the southern end of the San Andreas Fault uh, in, in, um, in time. Uh, it's been quite a while since we've seen a larger earthquake down here in the south. So a lot of, a lot of potential, I think, here exists for seeing a, uh, a larger quake on this region. Uh, than, than what people are kind of leading on people meaning the geologists and whatnot um, so just keeping an eye on this area as the swarm is kind of kicking up around the Mojave Tehachapi region keep an eye on that area pretty closely 
uh, last night when I was going to bed, 3.1 in this area of California, close to the uh, Pahrump, Pahrump area. Uh, I think I pronounced that correctly. I don't know. Sandy Valley, Las Vegas area over here in Nevada. That was a 3.1. We haven't seen any other earthquake activity. No aftershock sequences either following that 3.1 uh, in that area of California. Up here in the north around the uh, Antelope Valley area, 2.8 kicked up. Seen a little bit of uh, swarming activity, at least microquake activity kick up following that 2.8 uh, yesterday. Some movement around the Bay Area, but not super significant. Most of the movement here kind of in the eastern uh, Sierra Nevadas and down south and up north here along the Cascadia. So overall, folks, definitely a signal of some uh, pressure increase here along the North American plate. You can see that activity stretching up through Utah around the Cedar, Utah area as well. Little one south of Salt Lake City, 1.5. Mount Nebo, Utah, 5.3 kilometers for that earthquake. Also down south here, look at this uh, little activity around the Salton Sea region. Potentially, thought we were looking at maybe a swarm of activity kicking up, but uh, just a couple of small microquakes around the re region of the Brawley Seismic Zone, just short of the southern end of the San Andreas Fault. So keeping an eye on that area. The Gulf of California has gone quiet over here. Seen a renewed earthquake activity ramp up. An indicator of some west coast pressure building. Uh, you can see a swarm of activity kicking up in uh, Oklahoma. Also down here in Pecos, Texas region. Things seem to be peck uh, picking up as well. 3.7, the last earthquake to strike here. Uh, let's see what just happened there. Thanks, USGS. You just, uh, just kind of lost it there. See if we can get that back up here. Um, so there's the Oklahoma earthquake activity, also down south here in Louisiana. Uh, excuse me, a 2.1 kicking up. I had to take a drink of uh, some carbonated uh, drink here, in hopes that it would help my my um, tickle in my throat. And man, it just wants to embarrass me here on the live stream. 2.1 near Doyline, Louisiana. Pretty shallow earthquake striking earlier. Uh, see if this thing has been reviewed. It has been reviewed. Of course, no one felt it, but uh, just don't see a whole lot of activity out there in Louisiana. But it is south of the New Madrid zone, which showed a little bit of movement. 1.5 near Wrigley, Tennessee. Over here along the east coast, a little bit of movement too along the Appalachian Mountains. Around the West Virginia area, it looks like. 1.9 Union, West Virginia. 1.5 kilometers, pretty shallow earthquake in that area of the country down here in the middle america trench guatemala guatemala el salvador area seeing some deeper earthquake activity into the middle america trench here subduction zone uh, that one the latest one of the latest quakes on the globe there is at 4.6 so kind of keeping an eye on that region as a whole the pacific plate in general uh, puerto rico not a whole lot of uptick but venezuela area did see a 5.3 earthquake 8.8 .8 kilometers uh, below the surface for that earthquake kicking up earlier this morning. <clears throat> also, South America uh, activity ramping up here with some deeper movement into the Argentina Argentina region and Bolivia. Okay, let's get through it. Come on. <clears throat> I do not like being sick. Um, some shallower earthquake activity striking up here too uh, around the Chile area just off the coast 5.6 pretty shallow earthquake here for this region 31 kilometers and a uh, aftershock it looks like or potentially four shocks we'll have to keep an eye on this area we've seen a whole lot of deep movement recently in the South America region but uh, that's 7.5 up north I just don't think we've seen enough adjustment down here in the south part of South America 5.8 striking overnight in the uh, South Sandwich Islands region well, just actually this morning, that's striking earlier this morning, looks like about four or five hours ago. So almost a six pointer down here. That one uh, into the subduction zone here of the South Sandwich Trench area, 33.4 kilometers. Uh, pretty uh, interesting activity kicking up here. This last night, we've seen a swarm of movement, not a swarm, but a, a few fives kick off around the Southwest Indian Ridge overnight. No renewed earthquake activity this morning there though uh, over here in the, in the Fiji Islands region things kicking up as well along the Kermadec Trench including 
An earthquake here in New Zealand, 4.7 deep into the Hikurangi subduction zone, right? We haven't we haven't chatted about that in a while. 172 kilometers deep um, in New Zealand area. So kind of watching that region here. This area very capable of uh, producing a larger earthquake. Uncertainty remains just due to the historical lack of historical data. But this area definitely capable of producing a, a much larger uh, earthquake in this region. Kermadec Trench further up north, uh, seen a 5.3. And uh, a little bit further up north here, around the Tonga area, 4.6. Some movement stretching over towards the Solomon Islands in Indonesia, but uh, this morning definitely a swarm of activity kicking up along the Japan coastline with a 5.1. Striking just a short time ago, a couple hours ago, and also a 4.6, somewhat deeper earthquake activity into the Japan Trench. A little earthquake around the Philippine Plate here, 417 kilometers deep for that earthquake. And a little bit further towards the East China Sea, looking at uh, 5.0 that struck uh, near Japan. So we're keeping an eye on things here pretty closely, folks. Uh, last night, See if we got any renewed activity around the Lohi Seamount. This is from yesterday. Not a whole lot of movement over the last 24 hours, but uh, I still keep an eye on this Lohi Seamount earthquake activity. I'll do a little bit further in-depth detail earthquake uh, uh, video on this specific area a little bit later this evening. Uh, Alaska, we got uh, some movement kicking up here. Not a whole lot, but some microquakes kicking up and a little earthquake around, around the Aleutian Trench. 33.4 seems to be the number for a 4.0 in the subduction zone of the North American uh, Pacific Plate. So looking at the map here, folks, it's pretty active. That is the uh, the key today, keeping an eye on these areas along the west coast uh, and the swarming activity inland. Let's see if we got any activity at Yellowstone. Uh, looks pretty, nope, not a whole lot going on there at Yellowstone National Park. Trimmer activity returned to yellow along the cas or returned to zero, I should say, in the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, looks pretty absent of movement, and it's been that way for over two weeks now. Um, I just kind of curious to see what's going to happen here if we're going to get a renewed trimmer uptick or not. Something to watch, but uh, it's active. There's no doubt it's an active day, folks. Just looking at this map here of the uh, 2.5 and above 4.0 internationally shows a uh, a pretty good handful of fours and fives and almost six magnitude quakes throughout the globe today so i think it's going to be a pretty active day it's looking that way already live stream is up and running and i've uh, got numerous uh, seismograph stations around the globe uh, looking at uh, up here on the map a station there in the uh, bc area british columbia down south here station barrett that's around the San Diego area, uh, closer to the uh, southern end of the San Andreas Fault in Southern Cal. A uh, station there in Chile that monitors the subduction zone activity around the Peru-Chile Trench. And uh, of course here in Petrolia, California, Northern California area monitoring the southern end of the Cascadia. Some earthquake activity ramping up there, little microquakes. Uh, Yellowstone National Park, Canyon area. And I have a Japan station uh, monitoring the activity around Japan. So uh, uh, come on over if you guys are watching this update video. Live stream is up running 24-7. Stop on by and say hi. We'll chat you guys a little bit later.